Hi, everyone. All right, we're going to go on to learning some more of our basic tools through Adobe Illustrator here on my website. Here's our worksheet for tools number three. Let's go ahead and download it. Sorry, I'm going to open it in a new tab and I'm going to click the download button right here. All right, again, this is going to our downloads folder in our OneDrive. These are always backed up if you're in my class. Let's go ahead and open up this tools three. And let's go ahead and check these out. Now, this worksheet is more of a treasure hunt. It's trying to find all this stuff. Like this reshape tool and twirl tool, honestly, I have not used very much, but uh, I want you to just hunt around and look around at all the different tools there are. So let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see this a little better. I'm going to hit Z for zoom or go to your magnifying glass at the bottom, Z for zoom. I'm going to click and drag around this top row right here. All right. So this rotate button, we're going to just click and we're going to try to match this letter above. Let's click on the A and we need to rotate it. On the main toolbar, there is a rotate tool. Um, and if you just hold your mouse over these buttons, you'll be able to rotate it. Now, if you want, there is R for rotate. It'll tell you the shortcut right there, but we can just click, click the rotate. And wherever you want, you can just click on the outside. We can set the origin. We'll talk about that later if you want to rotate it around the corner. corner. But right now, it's going to rotate around this centerpiece. We're just going to click and drag and rotate. More easily, if you want to rotate something, you could literally come, instead of going to the corner to resize it, if you move your mouse out a little bit, you can rotate it right there also. All right, let me go Control Z. All right, reflect. We're going to do a vertical reflection. My preference is to right click on the letter E, and we got to find reflect vertical. So let's go ahead and right click with our mouse. It's going to go to transform is where you're going to find this, and then reflect. And my preference, whenever we have these dialog boxes pop up, click this little preview button. It's going to show you what's going to happen. All right, this is vertical. Horizontal, you wouldn't notice. An E is pretty much the same. It's a little bit. You can notice this leg's a little taller. But we are on vertical, as I saying here. It just flips it and mirrors it. Go ahead and click OK. All right, let's do a horizontal reflection. Select the letter F. Right click. Transform. Reflect. And this one is going to be horizontal. So let's select it right here. And you can see it in the preview because we have this preview check mark. Let's go and click OK. All right, this letter B is really super simple. There is a scale option over here on in the main toolbar. But honestly, the easiest way is to just grab the corner. So let's move, I'm going to move this B over a little bit. I'm going to come over here to grab the corner. Again, I'm on my black arrow, my selection tool. And let's just go ahead and grab the corner. And we can change the dimensions. We can resize it, scale it. All right, simple enough. I'm not going to zoom out. I'm going to hold space bar, drag my page over just like it's on your desk. Sheer. All right, sheer is the same as italic. I'm sure you've seen fonts that are slanted. There is a sheer tool, but my preference is just to right click on it. So select the letter C, right click, transform, sheer, and this one is going to be a 15 degree. So I'm going to click on, sorry, I think I went to the wrong one. Right click, transform, sheer. All right, the shear angle is going to be 15 degrees. Now, this one uh, doesn't change until you click somewhere else. I'm going to click down here to angle, and you can see that. All right, if you want to shear it, play around with this. I can change it to 60. Now, it's not going to change, like I said, until you exit that. So I'm going to click down here in this box. And, ooh, there, that does that. Nope, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back. Let's just change it to a 15 and click here. All right, that's a 15 degree shear. Um, let's go ahead and click OK. Reshape and twirl. These are a little bit more tricky, but reshape is somewhere near. You just got to kind of click around and find for it. Select the this select the letter D. Then you're going to grab the inside and just move it. But let's find our reshape. Let's click and hold. Let's click and hold on all these buttons, and we're going to find it. It's somewhere in there. I promise you. It's not under our shapes. It's not under our buttons. We are looking for reshape, and there it is under this one. Ah, we found it. Scale, shear, reshape. Here we go. And you're going to grab this inside piece. Oops, I think I lost my selection. Let me select the letter D. Hold right there. Reshape. Yes. Ah, now I can grab the inside path and just move it wherever I want. Okay. Now the twirl tool. Let's go back to our black arrow, our selection tool. I'm going to select the letter G. And as it states right here, your G is not going to look the same. The twirl tool is kind of, it takes it and something and spins it. 
which if you draw a star and try to spin it, you kind of come up with a little sun looking thing. It's kind of cool to use the twirl tool, but I just want you to look around and find it. So the twirl tool was somewhere around here. I'm going to click and hold. It is in here under this one. Let's go to twirl and your G is going to look a little bit different, but I'm just going to single click and it kind of gives it a spin. And there we go. I'm going to move over here to the next one. Now this, we're going to have to create the Harupa. And I will give you a little bit of hint on this one. On this one, you're going to have to create two Harupas. So the first one, actually, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a hint. I'm not going to do this one. This one will be two Harupas. This is a Harupa that's slanted. So I'll give you the first one. It's black 120 point impact with a 15 degree shear. And then the bottom one is going to be more slanted. But to get this, oops, I zoomed way in. Let's go ahead and go, I lost my page. Let's use the shortcut, control zero. Boom, gives me my full page. This bottom harupa, it's gonna be created using these tools over here. All right, I'll give you a little more of a hint. We probably gotta flip it over and then really shear it, right? So like I said, it's a combination of these ones to flip something over and then make it even more sheared. All right, hope that helps. Good luck on this.